Hola chicos! This is a full comprehensive video for you to learn how to implement the pivots in your dance. I'm Silvia Metasoma and this is Idea Tango. Regardless if you are a leader or a follower, in tango you pivot. A lot. You pivot to change direction, to do turns, saccadas, ochos and much more. So your dance will massively benefit from pivoting correctly. You are going to work with four exercises. As usual, I'm going to show the exercises first, then I'm going to reveal the technical secrets to execute them correctly. For these exercises, you need again your best friend's stick and a correct walking, dissociation and pivot. To see the requirements of your best friend and my unique advices for the walking, dissociation and pivot, you can check the previous videos. I'm going to leave you the links in the description here below. Place the stick in the inside of your elbows. Your elbows are in front of your torso and not in touch with it. And so is the stick in front of your torso and never in touch with it. For the first exercise, you step in front with the left, dissociate, pivot 180 degrees, step to the side, repeat again and complete a square. And then you repeat with the other leg. Step, dissociation, pivot, side. Step front, dissociation, pivot and side. For the second exercise, now you step backward with the right, dissociate, pivot and side step. Repeat to complete a square. And then you repeat with the other leg. Step backward with the left, dissociation, pivot, side. And again to complete the square. Third exercise, step to the side, dissociation, pivot, step forward. Repeat to complete the square. Then with the other leg, step to the side with the left, dissociation, pivot, step forward. And again to complete the square. For the fourth exercise, you start again with a side step. But now you pivot backwards and take a step backward. And again to complete the square. And then you go with the other leg. Step to the side with the left, pivot backward, step backward. Step to the side, pivot backward. You can now repeat these four exercises as many times as you want. As you followed step by step my previous videos, right? You now master the walking, the dissociation and the pivots. So, the purpose of today's exercises is to blend all this technique together and actually start dancing with your pivot. That's why the exercises focus on connecting the pivots with the steps. Here, the timing is fundamental, so let's have a close look at it. For each exercise, you start the step with no dissociation. When you are more or less in the middle of your step, you start dissociating towards the direction you want to pivot. During the second half of the step, you deepen the dissociation, so that when you have achieved the new axis, you also have achieved the dissociation you need to pivot. Then you can lock the shoulder blade muscle, the tango muscle, and pull your hips and actually pivot. If you want to stay in balance, you have to pivot only when you are in your axis. So even if the dissociation starts before, the pivot can actually start only when the transfer of the axis is completed. Please, please, please remember the banana foot. When you walk forward and then pivot, pay extra attention to the back foot so that it doesn't become a banana foot. When you walk backwards and then pivot, pay extra attention to the front foot so that it doesn't become a banana foot. To help you with that, imagine that the heel of the front leg wants to push the heel of the back leg in the direction of the pivot.
you will know that you master the coordination in your body when your movements are continuously connected in one single fluid, fluent dance. To make it fluent, besides the coordination of your upper body, you also need the coordination of your legs so that they are never still during the pivot. So, rather than collecting your legs before the pivot and projecting at the end of the pivot, you want to use the start of the pivot for the collection and the end of the pivot for the projection. However, as usual, stabilize before mobilizing. So if at the end of the step you feel out of balance, don't go to the pivot, recover your balance first. If at the end of the pivot you are out of axis, don't go to the next projection, recover your balance first. Remember to push the floor throughout the whole movement, especially during the pivot, so that while pivoting you can already prepare the next step. And always keep the same level. Don't bounce up and down. Practice at home, five minutes a day, every day, to quickly achieve a huge improvement and a gorgeous dance. See you on the dance floor. If this video inspired you, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel to watch many more tango tips and secrets. Just click on the subscribe button right now. Practice at all, enjoy your technique exercises.